There are some really great hotels in downtown LA, but which one's best, you ask? Let's find out. LA has a lot of cool hotels downtown, including the Ace and the Hoxton that I visited and both looked excellent. But we're recommending the downtown LA proper because we think it's the best of the bunch. In this video, we're gonna show you around this updated 1926 downtown LA landmark that has some great art and design. We'll give you some tips on what to do in this part of LA and stick around till the end so we can show you one of LA's best rooftop bars. Let's jump in. The hotels, you guessed it, in downtown LA, directly east of Santa Monica and LAX. As you arrive, you see this retro check-in desk, then look up to see this amazing mural done by a local painter. To me, this is the way a hotel update should be done, preserving the original 1926 bones of the building while adding personality and class to the place. Remember, we're supported by you, not the hotels we review, so please like and share this video, and it really helps when you subscribe. Okay, let's head up to the room. I'd say this place is mid-range, with the lowest cost rooms starting at about 350 bucks a night. My room was pretty small, typical for an older urban hotel. I was in a Premier King, that's the middle range cost room for this hotel. If you want to splurge, you can get a suite that's in the old basketball court, or a suite with a pool. Those run well over a thousand bucks a night. Okay, things I love about this room by me. Let's start with this piece of art, that's lovely. And then there's this little hidden compartment down here where you can plug all your stuff in. Oh, very well designed. Speaking of hidden compartments, <laughs> they've hidden the uh, mini bar in here and I love it, not just because it has booze in it, but because it's well designed, right? So that's great. Contrary to popular belief, uh, this is not my purse. This is a stereo, but never seen a stereo design like that. And my favorite thing, who doesn't love a Darth Vader lamp? I think that's really cool. Last but not least, this beautiful walk-in shower. Yeah, that's nice. Not only is the shower big, the whole bathroom's spacious compared to the bedroom bit. And like their sister property in Santa Monica, they use my favorite bath products, Aesop. There are some really nice details in the room that may not be so obvious, like this beautiful sliding door on the bathroom. I also like the headboard and the lamps. The furniture earns high marks on the quirky scale. That's a good thing. And while this table setup is a bit tight, it's better than sitting at most hotel desks. Right off the lobby is the hotel's main restaurant, open all day called Caldo Verde that specializes in Spanish and Portuguese food. This is what it looks like mid-afternoon between meals without people. And there's some really nice details like this tile and the lighting. And here's the better version of the restaurant, the way I like it with peeps in it. You know, one of the things I really like about this hotel is their collection of art and furniture. I'm not sure how to classify it, so I think that means they're doing something unique, which is awesome and way too rare in the hotel biz. The hotel's on the edge of downtown in what's called the Fashion District. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of downtown LA. 
but it definitely has some cool Art Deco buildings and some nice new architecture. Even though the hotel is downtown, there aren't tons of restaurants right around the hotel, so I can only give them a 7 for close by dining options. When I was there, there was a movie opening going on, which livened things up a bit. Being downtown, you're close to some pretty amazing museums. The Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, aka MOCA, is a five minute drive away, with this cool mural on the outside. Almost across the street from MOCA is The Broad, another excellent modern art museum. And next door to the Broad is the Walt Disney Theater that's home to the LA Philharmonic. As I said earlier, we checked out all the downtown LA hotels, including the Ace and the Hoxton. And the one thing I'd say is that the Ace may have a better rooftop experience going, but the proper is a strong contender. The pool's small, but that's true for most of the rooftop pools I saw in LA. But the rest of the rooftops are really spacious. You can eat and drink up here with great views of downtown and the mountains. I came up late afternoon when it wasn't too crowded, and as you can see, there's lots of seating. It got busier and busier as the day progressed, and the roof was packed by seven o'clock. The vibe on the roof is a lot of fun. There's good music, nice cocktails, good food, and it's a nice place to watch the day become night. It definitely has that LA C and B scene vibe going. Uh, the pillows are good. They get an eight, but the blackout curtains really don't work. See the big gap there? The room's way too bright. We're recommending the LA Proper Hotel because of the thoughtful restoration to this historic 1920s landmark building and the fun and quirky interior design that I happen to love that was part of that restoration. I also really enjoyed the hip and happening rooftop bar and restaurant. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See us in the next video.